That was a slow draw. I need practice. So my garage is packed full of project potential. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either because that's my workspace. And when your workspace is packed full of project potential, that means that you have no space to work on those projects. So I need to build some small sawhorses that are foldable so I can put them up out of the way to save space when I'm not using, using them, but then have them available to pull out when it's time to work on some projects outside. And hopefully get some of this mess cleaned up. So if you're interested in learning how to build these sawhorses, this video is for you. Now we're getting into kind of the tricky bit here. So as soon as I can find my pencil, there it is. So we've got this corner right here. I'm gonna tip this up from this edge. We're gonna measure down one and a half inches. And then we're gonna put our square right on the mark. We're gonna mark out and two inches. That's gonna get us kind of where we're supposed to be at. And then take your compass, put it on your one inch mark, and adjust over to your two inch mark. And that'll get you to kind of close to where you need to go, but we actually need to make this so the circle comes right up to that line. And then we'll drill right here, and then we'll round this off right here. So now we're gonna start making these legs into pairs. So we need to flush up this side with this, and this radius with this. And we're just doing that by feel. And I'll probably leave it about a 32nd inch shy, maybe a 64th inch shy right here. And then after I've got that done, I'll take a couple of screws and anchor them together just so I know they don't have to, they won't move. Now you can use clamps instead of this, but I think screws work a little bit better for me. And it's easier to move on the drill press. Make sure that didn't move after you screwed it together. Add another screw down here. Yeah. All right, next one. So we got this angle. Line that up. Try to make them exact, as close as you can to each other.
So there is the miniature folding sawhorses. Now, I typically build my sawhorses so a sheet of plywood sits about 34 to 35 inches up off of the ground. And this will sit a sheet of plywood 29 inches up off of the ground. So it's gonna be a bit of adjustment for me to go over it like that. I'm really excited about how low they are because I'm gonna be able to reach all the way across the sheet of plywood with the circular saw. Whoop. So I'm really happy with these, how they turned out. If you would like to build your own and you wanna use these plans, I will have some plans available over at climberdad.com. Just go ahead and follow that link. It's up here. And I will see you next time right here on Climber Dad. That always nice. This one, this one. Sixteen inches, two inches.